Lesson 1, ATM Don't be too distracted at the ATM. I was just checking a text message. People could see your account information. I don't think that can happen. If they're watching, they can also learn your PIN number. I suppose you're right about that. Just be attentive for a few minutes. I'd rather miss a text than have money stolen from me. Exactly. Make sure you finish the transaction first. Thanks for all the advice. No problem. You're a really good friend. Lesson 2. Supervision That child just darted across the street. His mother should have been holding his hand. Parents should be more attentive of their children. Have you seen those child leashes? I always thought they were silly. Me too, but I can see why parents use them. I guess they are a good idea, aren't they? They definitely do the job and keep your kids safe. In the end, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter how silly they look after all. Better to be safe than sorry. You can say that again. Lesson 3. Pitbull Ban Did you hear about the dog ban? No. What dog are they banning? The city wants to ban pit bulls. What? Why do they want to do that? They say pit bulls are dangerous. Pit bulls are only trained to be that way. How should they fix the attack problem then? I think there should be a background check for dog adoption. How would they fix anything? If good people adopt them, the dogs will be good. Many still feel like they're in danger around pit bulls. I feel more endangered being around people than pit bulls. Lesson 4. Helmets Don't ride your bike unless you're wearing a helmet. I don't like helmets. They mess up my hair. It's better to mess up your hair than to mess up your head. I won't fall. I'm a good bike rider. Accidents happen very easily. I've never fallen before. There's a first time for everything. I'll be very careful. If it wasn't so dangerous, there wouldn't be a helmet law. What is the helmet law? Children have to wear helmets until they're 18. I suppose wearing a helmet won't be too bad then. Lesson 5. Self-Defense Are you taking karate classes? Yes, I started last week. That's so cool. It's a lot of hard work. Are you training to be like Bruce Lee? No, I'm just learning some self-defense. Oh, you mean like blocking hits and stuff. Yes, I want to be able to defend myself. That's pretty impressive. I've learned a few skills already. Remind me to never mess with you. Don't worry. I'd only use my skills when necessary. Lesson 6. House Key I forgot my house key. How are we supposed to get into the house? I hit a spare key in case this happens. Let me guess. It's under the mat? How did you know? It's the most obvious hiding place. I didn't know where else to put it. There's a lock that allows you to hide keys in it. Wow, really? That sounds like a good invention. My teacher has one for his room key. Of course, the best solution would be not to forget the key. Definitely. Be more careful next time. Lesson 7. Just in case. Why are you bringing a map? 
I don't want to get lost on our hike. We won't. I have a GPS. There's not always signal in the mountains. Maps aren't accurate as GPS. We don't always have to use the map. Why bring it then? Like I said, it's just a safety tool. I think it's just more of weight in our backpack. Better safe than sorry. I can't argue with that. Let's go in. Lead the way. Lesson eight: Nighttime. I don't like walking in the dark. The city is so creepy at night. I always feel like anyone can pop out of somewhere. I'm afraid of bugs. They're probably all around. Maybe it's a good idea to carry a flashlight. I have one in my backpack. I feel so much better with the light on. Now we can see where we are going. It's easier to keep us from getting lost too. I'm still afraid of bugs, though. I think they'll stay away from the light. I'm putting a flashlight in my backpack too. Lesson nine: Police officers. I don't like seeing so many police officers patrolling. They're just trying to keep the city safe. I think they just like giving people tickets. People should just learn to follow the rules. People make mistakes sometimes. The cops don't always give people tickets. They usually do. I think it makes them happy. Not all police officers are mean, though. We could go on arguing about this all day. Then maybe it would just be best to agree with me. I just believe police officers could be nicer. That's true. The whole world should be a little nicer. Lesson ten: Diseases. Take off your shoes and walk in the sand. I'd rather not. I bought swim shoes. That's no fun. They're fine, and I can still get them wet. Why are you so paranoid? I read that you can get bad cuts on the beach. How can you get sand cut? It's not the sand; it's what people leave in it. You mean the, like trash? Yes, and even broken bottles. I guess swim shoes are a good idea. Yes, you never know what could hurt you. Lesson eleven: Seatbelt. Did you fasten your seatbelt? It bothers my neck. Just adjust the strap so it doesn't bother you. The sun makes it too hot. Stop making excuses and put it on. I don't like wearing it. Most of the people who die in car accidents don't wear them. I trust you not to crash the car. I don't trust the other drivers not to crash into me. I'll be fine. If you don't wear it, I won't drive you anywhere. Fine, I'll put it on. Lesson twelve: Public transport. I heard that there was a stabbing the other day. What? Where? In a public bus. That's scary. Yes, it is. I'm glad I don't take the bus often. What time did it happen? It happened in the evening. People should avoid going out late at night. Yes, that's when the most crime takes place. Either way, I think I'll be driving home after evening classes. It does feel a lot safer than riding the bus. Definitely, I can drive you home too. Lesson thirteen: Sleeping with cell phones. 
I saw a scary article online today. What was it about? It was about people sleeping with their cell phones. I do that sometimes. Why do you want to do that? It's easier to hear the alarm that way. Make sure your phone doesn't overheat. What do you mean? In the article, the phones heated up and exploded. What happened to the owners? They got hurt sometimes. You should be more careful. I will. I'll leave it on the night table from now on. Lesson 14 Taser. I want to buy myself a taser. Why would you want something like that? I live alone, so I want to feel safer. Aren't tasers dangerous? Only for the person I shock. I'm afraid of being electrocuted. They don't electrocute you, they just shock you. I hate the fact that the world is so dangerous. It may not be, but I won't take any chances. I've also seen self defense keychains. Those are good to have, too. Just as long as you know how to use them. Lesson 15 Pepper Spray. My dad bought me a can of pepper spray. Isn't that what police use on bad guys? Yes, it's supposed to sting your eyes. Why did you get such a thing? I feel safer walking at night with it. Aren't you afraid you'll use it wrong? No, it's pretty easy to spray. What if it gets into your eyes, not a bad guy? Well, it's important to never spray against the wind. Oh, I see. Then it won't spray into your face? Exactly. It's a pretty handy tool. I feel a lot safer carrying it, too. Lesson 16, Online Accounts I got my email hacked the other day. That's terrible. How did that happen? I opened an account on a website and used the same password. That wasn't very wise. I know it won't happen again. I'm always afraid to forget all my passwords, though. You should make them very similar to each other. I guess that would be a good solution. It's hard to have any privacy in today's world. That's for sure. We have to protect it. I'll make sure this never happens again. I hope you get your email fixed. Lesson 17. Peeling Potatoes be careful how you peel those potatoes. What's so hard about peeling potatoes? You're holding the knife wrong. What do you mean? When you pull the knife towards you, it's easy to cut yourself. How should I peel them then? Face the blade away from you. This feels a lot easier. It's harder to cut yourself. Could I have gotten very hurt? Well, it would have hurt quite a bit. I won't be so careless next time. Lesson 18, Texting While Driving Don't read that text message now. Why not? We're in the middle of traffic. It doesn't matter, but it is against the law. No one will see me do it. If you get used to it, you may casually check it later. I'm sure nothing will happen if I do that. One day, you may check it at the wrong time. Stop saying things like that. I'm just trying to make you see the danger in it. 
What should I do then? It's an important message. Give me your phone and I'll read it to you. They should make a car app to read your text messages. Lesson 19, Pool Toys. You can't take pool toys into the ocean. Why not? I want to drift in the water. They're dangerous. How is it dangerous just to float there? The waves could flip you over. I know how to swim. If the tide is strong, it could pull you out to sea. That sounds scary. It is. It'll be difficult to pull you back. I understand. I'll leave the pool toys in my car. That's a good idea. Thank you for the explanation. Lesson 20, Webcam. Why is there a sticker over your webcam lens? I don't trust the computer company. Do you think it's spying on you? There have been reports of people being spied through webcams. That's actually pretty creepy. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Is it always the company that is accused of spying? No, sometimes it's malware you get from emails. That's even scarier. You never know who can be watching. Ever since I found out, I put a sticker on my webcam. It really is a good idea. I'll do it too. Besides, I think it looks pretty cute too.